little bit. And they'll be starting on T side as well. Let's get it on. G2, they've shown us a nice B split in a pistol round. Speaking of Mahone and the ones he breaks down. Also, shout out Mahone. Great event again. Canadian, too. You know what? Shout out production as well. Some of the best in the business here at Blast. Yes. It's been very long days, very long event, and the quality never drops never off. Never drops. You can't tell. No Take a bow, tell. boys. Take a bow. Yes. Dupree, Have ready a of Condi. from the CT spawn for Hooksy to come for the split. I like this little boost trying to get an angle, but they actually never get vision of him. Hooksy somehow just slides past the crosshair, and we've got a good old-fashioned 5v5 post plant here on Vertigo. And Vitality? They're going to go middle. They're going to try to figure out... Oh, man. Poor Hooksy. <laughs> just the moment he sees Magis. First bullet headshot. Down he goes. Ooh, but the same happens to Nico. It's not just a Hooksy thing. JKS, two kills. Glock up close. And now it falls to the shoulders of Hunter. As he comes back to the other side, he catches Dupree. It's him versus Zaiwu, and both guns go empty. Knives are out, and Hunter reloads. No honor, but a pistol's more important. Did Zaiwu not have any bullets left to reload? Oh. Because he could have had that shot right there, and I yeah. think it would have maybe the time was out. There was maybe no kit on him, so potentially it didn't matter. But oh, we'll see. Think about, yeah. Yes. Um, but these headshots, man. Yeah, Whew, quick ones. I think Hunter actually had um, a rough day the same day, you know, that we were talking a lot about Hooksy, and that definitely deserves his fair share of criticism. They will need him uh, to be to be performing well. So a lot, of, a lot of the top performers in this event are actually uh, on G2. Funnily enough, um, Zaiwu and Sphinx are the two best. Of vitality, but Monacy is the best player at the event right now overall. Wild. Averaging, I think, 1.34 rating. Yeah, we still have the uh, Mersk MVP up for grabs. Yes. And Brokey made a hell of a statement for it. He did. Earlier today. We'll see if Monacy can compete with that. Well, it's, uh, Monacy is still way far ahead, actually. So it kind of comes down to Nico Monacy and then maybe Zaiwu. Maybe Zaiwu. Maybe Zaiwu. Oh my god, how can you forget about the Wu? The Wu. Free bomb plant this time as Vitality took a gamble not to play that B site. They will catch Nico and therefore a little Mac 10 picked up. Apex survives with two health mm. for now. And your Kinder within reach. It's a lot of good players. A lot of the good players who sometimes are on different teams but still doing really well. Yeah. I mean, we can't speak enough about the fact it's not just that Sphinx comes into the team, but like people would have. If he did average, that would be good. But he's actually carried most of the time with his new team. It's unreal. Kind of nuts. He, yeah, he's in Phenom territory. He's like, uh, came out of nowhere. And just keeps climbing, keeps getting better. Shout out too, because he comes from a region that just has very little representation. Yeah. You know, I feel like that makes it all the harder. That's why we look at the Brokies. We look at the Yakindars. We look at the Sphinxes. Of the the Flamesies the also flamesies. had a pretty sick event. Yeah, true. To be honest, you know, putting Israel on the map in terms of Sphinx and Flamesies. Big impact. Little flashbang. Gonna keep Apex inside smoke. Keep him honest. Not much can be done here by Vitality. We have to repeat it, of course. In their last showing, it was, again, a Vertigo map pick by G2. I believe a 16-7 for Vitality. So they just couldn't keep up on their own map pick. Oddly enough, Nico drops 28 kills in the second map of Nuke. And we go the distance in that series. Expect lots of solo Nico play at the bottom of this ramp. That's what we got last time around. Always kind of doing his thing. For now... They've taken a lot of damage. Monacy down to 50, Nico 34. And these aren't just USPs of P250. It's armored deagles and still utility to go at 50 seconds. Yeah, they are they are being scared a little bit. And I think uh, another thing was like right off the debut with, with Hooksy, they never, almost never ran out of time at all. But then on day two, they were starting to come into time trouble a little bit. So there's some... Oh my god. Potential growing to do. Okay, well, I mean, they know the site is clean now. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. This does save you time a little bit. Even if you wanted to. 
nowhere to hide. All right, yeah, they had more than enough time with all these great mollies that came out. So that's pretty solid. Nice exec. Yeah, it's just nice and directed, and it felt like, oh, precarious spot for a moment, but then with all of the lineups, they kind of know exactly how much time they need. And they run into no resistance. Tu parles français? I said it in French, yeah. Ah ouais, c'était vraiment magnifique. Garçon, oui, oui. Mais ça arrive des fois, j'oublie que tu parles français. Ça va bien. Dupree is Does that make sense or no? Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll give you the we'll give you the green light. What about Dupree? What about Dupree? Dupree, I think, is uh, again as eyes fall on Spinks to kind of plug and play and, and dominate quickly, and we all have expectations for Zaiwu. It's been nice to see the Danish boys kind of offer that next level performance again lately. Yeah. Dupree, notably, Magisk, also not too far behind. So. Uh, you know, a, a potential tournament contender in Vitality right now, and it is still very new. Yes. Of course, Navi made that gap very clear. We didn't get to see the Vitality versus FaZe show, but I think that they can genuinely consider themselves contenders for third for now. Unless G2 have something to say. Yeah, no doubt. A second best of three win over them. I just put him firmly in that position, so... Okay. Cements it. Ooh, that looked like a good HE, but it didn't land on him. Oh, JKS. Uh -oh. <laughs> Four hooks here. Man. Nico. Oh, he wanted a little bit more. Zywu was going to get the wall bang. Four versus two. Gun round equals round win by the looks of things. But Hunter and JKS can still reel back. See what they can string together. Oh man, they made it so murky there. They just made it a swamp of smoke grenades Ugh. and flashbangs and spams, and then they even convinced them to kill each other. That's how ugly it got there for a second, and they are just lost now. No position. On a, a very desperate big flank in the 2v4. But there may be a timing here for Hunter. But time overall is another problem. And they're just running away from him, and the bomb is not in a position to go over to B. Hunter versus Spinks, perhaps. Sure enough. Now JKS could have gotten to that B site had Dupree not been deep in the depths of the tunnels. And that's the only reason that their B player left. Yes, you know, sir. That flank going down, so it's unfortunate. I think Hunter could have right in that situation. There's not much you could do there. 10 seconds. Time bleeds down. They're within range of finding him, but I don't know if they will look. Worst case, he still has 5,000 bucks. Time expires, no push. One survives here for G2. Vitality take their first round win. Super solid A ramp hold. That's just what it is all about. They had G2 trying to fight them while their smoke was still up. So that's obviously really rough. What the hell? That didn't even look like it was... Oh, it was like a... It was like an improper counter strafe, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of like an inaccurate bullet. You know, but then once he was dead and out of the way, that did open up JKS to spray down. True. If anything, it's kind of an obstacle. Yeah, he just used his blood to power up. Honestly, he's got angles from this ramp. Australians be doing shoeys and drinking blood. Yikes. Why do we find them so charming? Ooh, wow. Nice snap. Oh, I love that. He's just back. Yep. Oh. And he catches Nico too. That was cool. Looking. A moment ago, he's on the shelf. Looks like he hangs a left. Oh, U-turn from Zaiwu. And a roadblock on ramp. Hunter. Just right back where he ended that last round. Kind of crawling around with no teammates. As he tries to press into the ramp room, Zaiwu's over in the corner, but that is... Zaiwu himself, three kills this round. Hunter, imagine a world where he gets that tap open, A site, bomb on his back. Lots of HP. Could have gotten wild. Instead, Vitality closed the gap. Three rounds still for G2. Yeah. Well, we've clearly seen Vitality are powered up or just playing to their level. They already had a really good map versus G2 last time. I'm down, let's go! Okay, yeah. If there's one person that's definitely benefiting from uh, facing their opponents, it's got to be Apex. Feeding off the energy or lack thereof of their opponents.
for Nico from Apex, but it misses. Not interested in the nade. Three, two, one, go. Zaiwu gets a collateral here. I can feel it. <laughs> On the minute mark. At uh, 54 seconds, 54 the collateral seconds. happens. Okay. Yep. Six seconds from now. All right. I think they heard you. Well, at least they're unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> they're stagnant. They sit back. Nope. Oh. Hooksy just getting pelted. Little pieces of utility here and there. Okay. First one, no reason for Zaiwu to be afraid of this ramp fight. And Apex also going to get the damage in. So, I mean, this round just completely fizzles out. We're at 25 seconds. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened at all. Nothing. Nothing. Not a single thing. Nada, zilch, zero. Apex starts to sweep away the little that remains, and it's Hunter versus Dupree for a bomb plant attempt. Oh! Magisk not far off. Three all. Okay. It was almost a 500 HP round there. Until the golden bullet hits Dupree in the head. That was pretty chill for Vitality. Hanging out with the boys, getting frags. All in a day's work. I mean, I expect these guys to be sharp. They've been uh, waiting for our previous best of three to end. Yep. Finally get a chance to jump into the server. So far, sharp. Guns back for G2. And it's a very close Nico doing his own thing. He's got Monacy a little further behind him. Frag off of the crane. That'll soften up Nico nicely, priming those M4s. Meanwhile, open B bomb site. It's just Dupree on construction. Don't worry about this. <laughs> just gotta cancel it. Y'all didn't see it. Yeah. I pretend not to look. They'll find their route in the end. It's, I mean, they could literally, oh, they could literally walk in if they wanted to. But they don't know that for sure. Sphinx is opping. Yeah. JKS will pressure him with the flash. No longer certain who or how many players are top mid. It's just JKS for now. But this is another round. We're at the 40-second mark. Not too much has happened. Are they, they going to do their anti-eco? Is that the full molly exit? I mean, it, it may, I guess they don't even have mollies. Yeah, they've got one. They have very few pieces of utility. Here's one. A little smoke for mid. Molly and a flash. Hooksy seeing how far he can get. And it's not far at all. Sphinx with the off inside B. 17 seconds. Nails a second shot as JKS attempts the cross. Through the box, hits Nico, and then Monacy's got an answer. Nice headshots from the kid, but nothing further. Dupree puts Vitality in the lead. That was not very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Yo, why you be speaking the truth? Oh, man. I feel like they've regressed somehow. I'm not exactly sure why. Like, it's not like Vitality is like pushing them in every turn and forcing them back and making them wait. I feel like Vitality applied zero pressure. I mean, go watch the demo from, you know, day one Vertigo. That was sick. And then their game versus Big. And then lots the game versus Vitality. That wasn't great. This is like a step back from that. So, I'm, I mean, the CTs on B site was Dupree here on construction. That's the only pressure that was. I mean, that is no pressure. This time they run in much faster. Desert Eagle. Ooh, and the P250 from Monacy. So just taking some aim duels, and that's what you need. <laughs> Holy smokes. Little bit of X Factor from Nico. It's the Kovac versus Zaiwu. Smoke right ahead of the Frenchman. Sensing out his entrance. M4 pressed close. The thought of a wrap around this wall. As the frag pops, he gets through, and he's ready to fight, ready to kill, ready to clutch. 
T's fall back. Bomb halfway gone, and it's an upgrade to the M4. He's got a Molotov. He's got a smoke grenade. He's got a kit as well. He's got Nico down for the count. Oh, he the can just cover planted. off this defuse. It's not for the ramp whatsoever, and he gets them both. Oh. Zywu is a machine. Wow. He just, ah, just calculated them instantly, and uh, perfect Molotov for the zoning. Got him to fight. Hit his shots. After a blazer of a round at a Nico. What were those headshots? That was crazy. I want it from his perspective. Two bullets, two kills. Of Bing's 90 plus ADR, <laughs> everyone else 70 or below. Mostly 60 and below. And still a 16-7. Yeah. Well, that was across all three maps. Oh, I understand. Yeah. So I guess they only... One, two of them, but... So three 16 sevens. Ooh, Zywu. He loves a fight. Tarp player serves up a great distraction. Apex still alive, albeit very wounded. Let's try this one again. There we go, boys. Good thing they chose that boost, because their alternative gets hit by the utility. Magis, looking for a little something, something, gives it to Oof. Nico, just as he tries to challenge around the ramp. Now, we still have a player tucked in tarp. That's Hooksy. Bomb is currently not possessed by any of the three remaining players. Dupree, blind as a bat. JKS, nice flashbang to set up Hunter, but again, no bomb. 45 seconds, someone's gonna have to it's go It's gotta be Hooksy, that. yeah, he has to go back now. But now they've got a lot of delaying to do. And that, oh, that spot already runs his course. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, they, I think he felt compelled that if the smoke came out, that he was worried about getting cleared, so he had to get a kill early. I think that made sense on paper, but uh, yeah, ideally, of course, they're in a better position to just um, get this down. Still, low health on two of the four Vitality players. Flashbang to try and get Hooksy to the site. JKS attempting to give cover. Apex is right there. And remember, he's low. Dunked on. Hooksy's okay. on the board with a nice frag kill. A little climb up from Zywu is punished. JKS. Oh, he's got it. Three kills from behind the boxes gives G2 the round. Oh, an enormous multi as he's perched up on double. Beautiful round from... We have no kits in this round from Vitality. So after that streak of five round wins, it's G2 to answer. And they've got that economy on the brink of disaster. Fast push by the looks of it. Oh, nice nade over the top. Oh, they set up perfectly for this. Immense utility damage. And that constant threat of another nade. Now, sometimes Sphinx does this. Him and Dupree get Sphinx down the stairs, and he just kind of floats around on his own. We've seen him stick around longer than he just did this time. But he seems content to concede. It's a small early round victory with the utility damage here. And they heard all the steps too. I think they could see that there must have been players that got hit. And they've got their attention on the A side as well. The duel is not won though on either side. Sphinx killing Hooksy on the first attempt at a cross. JKS is low even lower now. Apex will not win his duel versus Hunter. 45 seconds, Hunter's gonna press up along the wall. Double smokes go down for G2. CTs lose their entire vision. Monacy's going for the plant. Spinks slides out, catches two additional kills, and that is Spinks wow. in with three. Dupree cleans up, Vitality 6-4. I think they baited for the push as well. I think they did. As Hunter, or sorry, as Spinks came around the outside of the smoke, Hunter was watching it up on the side of Jenny by the uh, smoke, and then he starts shooting at something, so that was just really perfect way to set Spinks up for success. And just no one looking in his direction as he clears the board. It's a huge move. And another round one, and again, that early game pressure and all those utilities, the utility that came through on the A ramp, it just was exactly right for the call. They knew what G2 wanted to do, that they're... Closest G2 has come to cracking the money of Vitality. That chance will slide by. But mid is open. There's a gap here. Ooh, they catch Magisk. Blind as can be. Interestingly, yeah, I think they want to go back to A. I, like, they were running over towards the B site, but they see Magisk as one of the A rotators leaving. 
Now Zaiwu knows, okay, last time we saw Zaiwu in this spot, he let all the nades come down, he sat here in this exact position, and then just like multi. So that was a scary part about the A site. Um, but as long as they've got this rotation locked off, they have some counterplay, but they're going to wait it out. They're still at 5v4. It's not a wrong call by any means. You can't overinvest in one piece of information. But Sphinx, he's in a new spot. Hunter walks up. Not ready for that one. Sphinx will not be able to double down. Sent soaring to his death. And there's nobody else really in this site yet. Dupree absolutely scrambles to try and throw up some kind of wow. a defense. He drops the bomb. Molly in front of the pack as well. Not ideal. Oh, they're going to boost. Oh, but they're getting called with the spam. Tons of damage connecting here. Hooksy. Oh, double headshot. Let's go. And he's got Zaiwu not too far off. So very fast out of the spawn. G2 challenging top middle, like you said, catching Magisk. Thinking about maybe A, but they had the CT kind of scrambled back and forth. Yeah, that was a perfect aggro from Hooksy and a very nice 2K. And the round overall, you know, beginning with that mid pressure, it was also a great call. It was like a way to be fast without an overcommitment. And they ended up getting that kill, playing the 5v4 with the advantage, taking it to the rest of the round. And again, without overcommitting, not just rushing into things. That made that one look very composed, but also like stylistically like G2, you know, like you think of G2. On the, on the upside for G2, I think we have seen some rough rounds, but numerically they're keeping up to vitality here. Monacy hasn't really even entered the game yet. There are still, you know, still more potential for him. It's not fun if you're Magisk. Check this out. Woo. Quick little snap. Yeah. Frustrating for Magisk. Second chance now to break some CT's cash flow. Balmus, MP9. Little one round lead. Can you recall how many rounds Jisoo got on the T side in their last matchup? Um, Very specific question. No, that's okay. I mean, they got seven in total, right? I believe so, So, yeah. I'm going to guess four. Okay. And then I'm going to check. <laughs> Ooh, synchronized climb. Again, though, this super underplayed B site. They just leave it. Yeah, it's good. And it's been targeted multiple times now from G2. So, That's I mean, true. we're going to have to see some adaptation from Vitality. Clearly getting targeted in a round like this. Vitality have no other choice but to concede in a 5v5. What a round. Oh, wait, it was 16-4. Okay, so they actually... And they got... Yeah, they got four rounds. <laughs> <laughs> on the money. Dead on. Well, this one was weird. We're all tied up. Six five, apiece. Yeah, 5v5. Five five. Some good calls. Good calls. Got to give credit where credit is due. But again. Already an improvement. Still three rounds to play. Apex finds a pocket to play within. Considerable, consider, considerable damage on Nico early with this utility. He's been pelted down a couple of times. Such is the life of a, you know, a ramp defaulter, of course. Pretty wants some. Oh, Hunter, nicely done. Tracks him on his way down. Sends him packing. Three player group top mid as Nico peels back to join Hunter on ramp. They're being very pragmatic right now, like looking towards B again. Getting their kill here. Oh, good utility damage, but no frag. Molly makes things awkward. Oh, two kills. Hunter, he's so deep within. 
How does that go down? Sphinx I... dies on quad while Hunter's already wrapping the bomb site? Yeah, I'm not even sure exactly. I'm gonna need a top down. Regardless, excellent result. Again, G2, they know what they want. That B site is being hit. Yeah. I'm Repetitively. Let's just watch an evolution within one half here from G2 in terms of their, their progress. They've just got everything together. It really felt like they were going to spiral out there for a second, but now they're in charge. Jeez Louise. That's Nico. good to see. And they're kind of exposing, you know, vitality for underplaying this B site. Walking around. They're looking sharp. We got a JKS 1B3. Okay. We got a game. We got a game. Nice to see improvements already. What's this? <laughs> That's great. That was magic, right? Like I said at the start of this game, best production in the business. Yeah, that was hilarious. They, they layered on Magus's voice. Yeah. With the, uh... Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. Yeah, damn. Uh, mentioned Monacy. Yeah, best of the business. Monacy heard me talking and uh, decides to offer us an early kill. I say best. Yeah, that's only his fourth frag so far this map. Yep. So it's been kind of quiet from him, but hey, you've got a lead. You work the lead. Comes off the back of Hunter. Who again, you know, alongside Hooksy, pretty quiet last time around. Mm -hmm. So an improvement on an individual level results in an improvement on a team. Whoa, ooh, this is ooh, magic. This is when you start drooling a little bit. Salivating. Oh, magic. You've got the whole team ahead of you. These deagles could serve up. This could be it. This could be big. Magisk taps. That's the first. Oh, he's out of ammo? Oh, he didn't realize the gun was already on dry. Now it's the Deagles on site. They've got to serve up something. Monacy in the meanwhile goes back, kills Magisk. That could have been huge. Nico recovering as Sphinx goes down. Zaiwu, 48 health and nothing further from Vitality. He never reloaded I, the gun. I think he never knew how far they were from him. So he couldn't justify the yeah, reload. Yeah, he thought they could have been, you know, any turn. So I, I think... Based on the way he was shooting, he was fully aware of how much ammo he had on the one hand, but maybe he wasn't drooling as much as I thought, knowing that, okay, he's going to have a chance to get a kill, but, you know, not spray anyone down. Man, I didn't notice. I got so tunnel vision because that looked like such a sick moment. It's tough. Awkward. Yes, he walked the whole flank right, didn't even make any noise picking it up. Now, after all this time, they're going to go for the ramp smash. zaiwu has been wanting this fight, and he's going to find it. JKS with the quick trade, Apex a little further back, Magis scrambling in to try and help. Molotov, that's destined for JKS, but they send them both ways. Whoa. Utility all over the place. They're going to go for the two guys short side. JKS is still in this corner, hanging on the entire time. More mollies, more pressure, no bomb plant. It will go down inevitably. We've got two incendiaries, two smokes, and a flash for the retake. Kit, no. So it's gonna have to be fast. JKS finally gets to see people now that there's not fire and smoke in front of him. Sphinx has got the trade frag right back. Nico, he's in the pocket to make the play. Sees the jump up from Dupree, walks it back, lines him up, and sends this. Vitality, a little less to cheer about than the last time these teams met on Vertigo. G2, gonna be comfortable with this map pick. They did what they had to on that offense. Oh yeah. And then some. And then some. And then more. And then extra. Plus. Also. <laughs> now they're walking up. Nico, he's not what waiting for your execute. He's just gonna execute you. Oof. Little Gush comes out. Zywoo's down to Hooksy. And Apex comes in from the short side. We got Hooksy and JKS on the jump up. Elevator players hit. So little HP for the three CTs. He could this still stand. Them. Dupree's got his first assist, thanks to Apex's close. Priming all the assists in the world. There's two. And there's three. Apex gets the job done. Dupree does the heavy lifting. Yeah. And Vitality will close that gap with a pistol win. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't know. I just don't know what he's saying. There's a direct correlation between Apex saying things at the end of the round and Zywoo, or sorry, not Zywoo, excuse me, 
Zonic? Zonic just like trying to quiet the team down. Yeah. Every time. Those are the two things you can guarantee at the end of a Vitality win. The counterbalance. I don't know, man. What the hell? Yeah. Uh, I just... Yeah. It's, it's uh, true, though. He did dink everybody. Oh, is that what he was saying? I think it's ding, 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 ding. <laughs> man. Yes, Dupree. Nice shots. Indeed. Now it's the force by attempt to bring it back. Double digits on the line for G2. Ump in the hands of Monacy. Point blank. Ooh. Ding, 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 ding. Apex. You did once say that he is better than Monacy. Did I say that? Well, you're allowed to misquote people, so I can too. Oh, okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. Fan of French CS, but... I recognize the real ones. Ooh, I like that, Nico. Beautiful! Just crouches, yeah. crawls into the corner, whack a mole, and the mole bites back. Lining up some wall bags, but there's nobody there. Pulls out the ump. Magisk up next. Nico pops forward. Hooksy sets him up with that flash. Now they've lost the ump, and they've lost Nico. Could be problematic, but Apex is barely alive. Zywu, well, he gets there in the end. But Hooksy on the short side, 5-7, looking for more. He's done a really good job at softening them up for JKS. But can the Deagle, nope, Ooh. not make a difference. Quick headshot from Zywu, and Vitality continue to close. Yeah, he's clearing. I mean, Zywu's 18 and 7. He had a number of really huge op rounds, and honestly, when he stopped getting kills, I think uh, Vitality stopped winning rounds. That was, uh, it was G2 sort of avoiding him over on the A site. And then he had one retake, one B2. But outside of that, it was just uh, the B special over and over again. And they were winning that way. So, man, this game is getting very close. I mean, this is... I, I don't know. Who, like, nobody knows who's going to win this game. None of these teams, none of the fans. It's just impossible to tell. There's so much development going on. I mean, inside of that one half from G2, they went from honestly atrocious to great and that was also very fun to watch so looking forward to seeing how this half develops as well <laughs> don't take too long that spinks out but you are dead on i was very nervous for g2 when we started to see some of those early b hits very yeah. uninspiring out of the gate but, because it was uh, like depressing you know like you don't want to see you don't want to see anybody really play badly you want to see everyone play really well so that was worrisome for sure. You are right. Yes. But now the guns are up. Monacy onto the op. Matt just hangs on to a Mac 10. Someone's getting to 10 rounds off this one. much worse. Dupree will still be primed for a single A1S headshot. And stylistically, we'll see Vertig uh, Vertigo be played in a more vanilla, structured, and reasonable way from Vitality. They don't try to push the envelope too much. They get ARAM control, they exec very well, and I think they press the T advantages in the most sensible ways. Monks, he's posted though. Ooh. Kind of gets caught there by Dupree, sending a few bullets to the edge of the smoke. Monacy and Nico pressing into the close side. Zywu's ready, at least for the first, but the second catches back the French AWP. And now monacy has got another teammate to work with, but does he really need him? Because in terms of kills, it is all Monacy. Missed chance at the third, still stands. Oh, and Magisk just bends that bullet around the edge. Hooksy kills Apex in the background. Sphinx is creeping as JKS. Thunderous footsteps 
from that, b site draws Magisk to the other side of the map. And Spinks, ooh, he doesn't get what he needs. Now he's taken a lot of health off of Hunter. Hooksy's on 37. Magisk, it's clutchable, but the time is going to be this added element of pressure. Hunter's just tucked behind Big Green. 10 seconds. If Magisk attempts this plant, you'd think Hunter comes running, and sure enough, he goes down. Now Hooksy in a critical 1v1. And Magis comes off into the post plant, health advantage, but he doesn't know where Hooksy's gone. And Hooksy caught in the open with the headshot from Magis. Oh. 1v2. Yeah, well done for Magis right there. I honestly, oh man, that's a hard one to kind of calculate because Hooksy's low behind Hunter. But typically, if there's not enough time to plant again, that's the time to push. So you could say it's Hunter who overplays it or pushes a little bit too early off of this fake. And, you know, could have gotten a few bullets in, but Magis didn't go for the plant and let's see if they push he went for the instant fake plant so he got his gun out well in time to make that kill happen and with 10 i think hooksy kind of got hung out to dry there a little bit is so again a very 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 like kind of time sensitive issue that's hard to calculate in the moment but only pistols now there's a player behind you pre oi hit for 99 <laughs> Falls back, gives an AK to Monacy. Now that's a dangerous game to play. Also, before we forget, shout out Magisk. Three kills in that last round, 1v2 included. That really sexy shot around the side of the crane as well. Right. Hunter's CZ sits beneath construction. He's got a lot of bodies coming at him. What can he deliver? Ooh, headshot on the flying apex, but Saiwu, quick recovery. Nico in from spawn as the bomb's in the dirt. And Monacy hunts. Oh, suddenly that is just so incredibly clean. Vitality on fire. Yeah, that was fast. That was pretty good. So this T side could rain Terra here for Vitality. Um, and they, oh shoot, they have to play much of it. Yeah, they didn't even have to play much of it last time. So we'll see what takes place now. It is a question mark, but it starts with an exclamation. Yes, five straight. See if they can stop this lead just for the sake of a good game. Had an awesome first half. It would be a real shame if this one just fizzles out. Monacy does not want to allow that to happen. First kill goes to G2. I feel like Sphinx has got a deadly mid walkout. Yeah, he's had some pretty powerful lurks for sure. That's what he's designed for. That's what he was brought in for. Right now, Hunter's trying to keep eyes on both sides of the mid walk up. Oh, but Spinks very quick on the headshot. And suddenly that's like a potential threat to the A site, but also JKS is going to feel like he's he, completely alone in this universe. Dude, he's like an armored tank right now. Like you can't even really approach him because he could be anywhere. And oh, he Ooh. doesn't even get that. Oh my God. Missed chance. However, recovered because Magisk is sharp. Then Monacy again adds another kill to the tally. We've got Zaiwu in for the clutch. Now Bomb is on construction. He's got no utility, but look at his score. 22 and 8 already. You know what kind of Zaiwu you're getting this evening. Hooksy's trying to flank him. We'll see if the timing can work out for G2's new in-game leader. Frag grenade certainly helps. And sure enough, Hooksy strikes from behind to give G2 10. Yeah, well done. And just harm that score line of uh, Zaiwu a little bit. Take him down a notch because he is absolutely on fire. And here's a good opening kill. This play happens sometimes. We saw Nico try it in the first half. And uh, I wonder if Dupree was frustrated because he thought something else was going to happen or if something went wrong from the grenade protocol's perspective that didn't assist him properly. But either way, it's free for Monacy. And he's in a couple of beautiful donuts. Glazed. Oh. Hooksy's looking aggressive. Ooh. Yeah, so, okay, we saw Hooksy make this play a couple of times already. But they don't hang out here a lot. And I think we've seen Hooksy just kind of fall back out of this position. And it's not fun to stay down here, but sometimes it is the best course of action. They can also transition into a flash. And they're, oh, they're taking, yeah, they're drawing attention away from him. So he does his job, and now he can camp out here, which is very strong. Oh, that flash. Bomb's in an awkward spot. T's running around. And Hunter thinks they're splitting through mid. Oh, oh. he still kills Apex. On to the last bullet. Last few shots. 
but they land where they need to. Now Spinks is waiting for that elevator play. Last time it was Nico who just came like running around that corner. Spinks missing the shot. This time it's half of Hooksy, then Nico. And Hooksy gets the kill. Okay. Great round from Hooksy. Oh, even better. Three kills. Shuts down the mid play. Shaves one off the bottom of ramp. And Zaiwu again completely outnumbered. Tied game 11 all. This might be the, f the first time that we just had like a Hooksy MVP round. You know, there's one round on Nuke where he, that he got the 2K in mini. I mean, this one he has control of. We got the multi frag, we have the opening duel. That might it's be just, Hooksy's first 3K on GT. Yeah, no kidding. Like, that's not that's not even a joke. I, I was looking at multis, and I didn't pull up the stats, but I was, like, in memory. I don't even know if he had any, honestly. But um, we could see the world of difference it makes for the roster. If you can pull it around like that, and it, it means straight up just took Spinks down coming into his angle. Like, that's just no small feat. So, all right. And Zaiwu, I mean, as strong as he is, he is alone. And that'll be G2 climbing one step forward. Again, already achieving way better than they did last time they played Vitality on Vertigo. Showed a very good first half. Have stopped the streak in the second half. He's just set up to succeed. Yes. He's a very critical piece if he throws himself to the bottom of ramp. He needs to deliver that first one or it's 4v5. Yeah, absolutely. And he goes two better. Look at the result. That saved off from Zaiwu. And pistols surround it. Apex eats the nade. Utility pressures Vitality off of what could have been an initial fight. Where'd that smoke go? The 50th floor? Fell through a crack. Oh. Somebody get the sealant. Zaiwu so finds Nico, but we've already lost two players from Vitality. Oh, Zaiwu's not buying the smoke at all. But, oh. look, it opens him up. He tries to climb around it. Hooksy gets the kill. Off goes flying off yes. the building. <laughs> Hooksy tries for the spray down, almost getting Spinks in the background. But another multi-kill here from Hooksy. Spinks with an AK caught off as Hunter slides through and G2 Esports in the lead. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it is hard to talk about Hooksy because you, you know, you had to be there to watch the first couple of days. A lot of people were. You don't want to sound condescending talking about him, but obviously, I'm just going to put it plainly. It was that bad. And so a lot of the conversation is around him right now. Um, so, I don't know, hyping up these small moments I think is important because he has to kind of do better than he has even in the past on, on his other other lineups. But, like, the, as soon as you can kind of start stop talking about him, then then you have G2, like, aiming for what... aiming for a situation that makes sense, right? As soon as he's in that 15-plus kill range, then it's like, okay, now you have one of the most stacked lineups in all of Tier 1, that kind of thing. With an in-game leader who's done great things with lesser pieces, right. et cetera. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. So I won't uh, harp on it too much, but I want to say that. So we got the boost over top of the smoke here on the stairs. Great the flash. Wow, they timed it so well right there, just as it was fading. They must have counted that down. Timing to a T. And again, we didn't really get to see much of Vitality's T side the last time they played, so... We didn't know if it was going to be great, whether it would struggle. Right now, it's trailing. JKS, opposite side of Tetris. He's got Hunter in the orange boxes to help. 45 seconds here. Shoulder spotted, but Sphinx is actually the victim. Ooh, and Hunter. That's going to be two oh, kills. Another. Magisk in the back. Ooh. Hunter, a multi-kill spray down to continue G2's winning ways. That was fiery. And already liking their B-side a little bit more than what Vitality were bringing. You know, a few rounds ago. So again, right here, as the smoke's fading, boost is getting dismantled before they're even thinking about it. G2 strike perfectly. And the B-site is not often about having two people there. It's just about having someone in that flashing range. 
it's so wide open it's really easy and also it's just necessary because there's it's hard to go from the good piece of cover out of the site without getting spotted from the stairs so those flashes that come in from heaven and ct spawn are imperative as support to make it feel like there's you know a, a really you know a, a really fortified defense He opens up. That potential threat of a scout is now down. G2 about to queue up a 14th round. That's crazy. This is sick. Yeah, it's been a whole movie for them, you know, in this in this one map so far. Honestly looking for something. Nico very much stuck behind this piece of tarp, and uh, it's not thick enough to save him. It's got to be the most annoying way to die. Now, Spinks has an armored M4. Dupree's with the Deagle and the Scout. Monacy's going to crack that whip. And a 30 second, two versus four left for Vitality before they come back in with a buy. Wonder if they could use that M4 and just call it quits here. You know, like, what do you, what do you consider the likelihood of actually getting onto this site? Hunter kills Magisk. Sphinx has got an answer, but Hooksy is right there. G2 on fire. CT side. Mere rounds away from the win. Insane. Both teams looking at five round plus streaks here. Inside of half number two. And they might turn this result on its head. As they pick up Vitality's map choice. And they played a series already. But that one was inconsequential. This one is for the fall finals. Yes. This is the one that matters. That it absolutely does. You know, we've been trying to kind of paint Vitality as like the world number three. Attempting to challenge the top dogs and now they may very well lose at least a map. KS. Oh, he wants a piece of that, but USP means he's doomed. So Spinks with the quick trade. We've got another player above in Hunter. And he too peels back. It's going to reactivate the other side. Three CTs trying to press into this ramp. We've got smoke soon to fade. Ops on both ends. Oh, man. I can't believe he pathed that way. <laughs> Miko. What a madman. Absolute animal. And he draws them into Monacy. False confidence for Vitality, thinking they could chase that kill. Instead, man down. And potentially more to come. Dupree, half health. zywu has got the kill back, though. That's Hooksy taken out. The Opera on the other end, still alive and kicking. And with it, a challenge. We've got a Zywu versus Monacy moment. Nico playing on the short side. And Zywu decides to come at this from another angle. Monacy just gives up his line of sight. Nico catching Spinks on the attempt to push in. And it needs to be a 1v3 or a call to save. Nice snap from Zywu. Monacy retreating back towards Shelf. Hunter on an inevitable flank. And the Counter-Strike calculator has a 1v2 on his hands. He gets off sight. They lose track of him. Point blank. Oh, missed shot. And G2 Ooh. secure 15. Ooh, doesn't hit that shot. It's the easier of the two, the last one. They needed a lot from him, though. He already got two kills in the round. But this one is about how G2 are able to encapsulate them on the A ramp without showing themselves too much. And I think in the past, sometimes you'll see, you know, a staggered attack, not three players peeking at the same time, sometimes an overcommitment from one or two. And in this way, they made sure to have presence off short, presence on the side with Monas. They've got something left. This is the round to show it. Six straight from the G2 camp after that 5-0 Vitality start. Yeah, maybe inflated by the fact that it's a pistol and conversions. But we thought, oh damn, G2 just don't have it on the defense. Total turnaround. And while Zywu's been waiting to shine, Spinks right behind him. You know, it is a quieter one from Dupree. We saw decent things in the first half. We're waiting. And they're running out of time. JKS has support behind him. 
in Hunter and Monacy. This B site, not looking too comfortable for Vitality. Second player jumps up. Oh, wow. Dupree gets the duel over top the wood like that. A bomb will need to be retrieved, so it's not going to serve as like an instant trigger, but it's still going to keep G2 interested on this side of the map. Oh, an exit route. Yeah, they had, to, they had Dupree in an awkward spot. I think he made the right choice in leaving, but they lose this position. Now they still have the numbers advantage. Again, it's Sphinx versus Hooksy. He has improved, but can he keep it consistent as Nico best Zaiwu? Top fragger by far from Vitality is down. And so is Dupree. He tries to climb over top. Hunter on the fallback gets away. 24 seconds between Vitality and defeat on Vertigo. A beautiful bit of revenge being dished out by G2, it seems, but now Vitality have the push. Two kills back. Hunter onto quad. Tries to tap to Apex. Bombs picked up, and Nico's on the lurk. He's on the flank. He's on the hunt. He's got Apex pinned. Sphinx incredibly low. Eight health, Ooh. and Apex keeps it going. Damn. He ran that one with of this going to overtime. Ooh, Zaiwu was not a piece of the last round. His teammates managed to pull it over the line, but he's down to 16 health already. Tim versus Monacy on ramp. Missed the flick up. Apex back into the kill feed, but at what cost? 22 health. Dupree out of this one, thanks to JKS with a little bit of aggression. Sphinx versus Hooksy was a bit of a turning point last round. It's primed yet again, basically mirrored positions. Yeah, and he knows. He knows that someone's here. He can feel it in the default. He's trained on this angle. Sphinx, stoic, statuesque, as he waits, and as does Zaiwu. JKS walks into the scope. Man advantage, vitality, but two of the four still low. Footsteps, I think, are, are trying to encourage them to rotate around themselves. And it is unclear, you know, where, where they're going. Could they cut noise across the 45-second mark? There's four up, but two are low. And this duel, this duel could make the difference right here. Two full HP players. Somebody check Spinks' computer, man. He hasn't moved this entire round. Finally starts to activate as the hit comes into the B site. Hooksy wins it. That's a big duel for Hooksy to win. We've got Nico in sight. He's got the cover of the smoke. Apex hones in, and it's Apex again. Low health with his second kill. As he gets past that one, Monacy's being drawn over. Magisk to 76, and Magisk goes down. The ball. Oh, Hooksy's nade! Six seconds! Apex pushes in! He's got the fight! No. He's got the clutch! 1v2 is huge to keep them in this! Oh, he baited the shot and then swung like it was no one's business. Monacy down with no time left. Oh, my God! The fourth quarter clutch from Apex. With like 20 HP the entire time. Look at that. A drone strike from Hoopsy. Dude, that shot from Monacy. He has the God Angle in CT and he hits the cross. That is oh so my God. fast. Look at the pistols. It's pistols. Jesus. What a game. Nico down first. No time to plant. 20 HP, he baits out the peak. I said don't show the kid, Apex found a way. Oh. Monacy though. Yeah. Don't get caught slipping up. Apex yet again, instrumental in these last few rounds. Utility's gonna buy some comfortable amounts of time. CT's trying to push, uh oh. We've got the pistols in. But he's, he's seen everything, they're running it now. They flee, back to the B site, clear for the taking, they know it. All the room in the world for this. This should be a near impossible retake. I mean, they're buying next round no matter what, so they might just try it. Vitality might be the scared ones, but I don't think G2 have many odds. Let's see what they can pull out of this. Man, a lot of smokes down. This can make the situation very complicated. Oh, oh they do let them buy. Fake plant! Duperetta's denied! Next up, Hooksy into Sphinx. They cross paths and Magis gets a bunch of kills. JKS reels back. Just like over on that A site, it's aggression within smokes that makes things weird. Vitality, hang on. I think so, one of their smokes didn't land in the right spot. and It created a weird situation. And that, that Dooley player nearly 
made that happen right here. That was Hunter. That was close as hell. Oh, that's, you know, Legs. he yep. stops. Yeah, I mean. And John Vertigo, right here, right now in regulation. Or we get a little OT sprinkled on top. Zywoo so doing his own thing down at the base of ramp. Early presence on B for both teams. That's a lethal pack right there. Oh, oh, oh. one dropped off. Hooksy, Hooksy at back. least gets it. Yeah, that's a big one. Ready for the next. Oh, Hooksy and Hunter, they lock it in. Just like that, round 30 could be the solution. Hooksy, no longer a problem. As he is on the brink of 20 kills. Another multi-frag in a critical time. But it's Sphinx and it is Zywu. And if Team Vitality have anything going their way, it is these two individuals time and time again. 27 and 22 frags apiece. And right now, G2 do not know where they're at. Yeah, they see the bomb. And funnily enough, this can scare you a little bit. Oh, Sphinx is taking some damage. They know they're trying to camp this out. 40 HP he can't get back. His teammate not too far off. Just Hooksy, try. an ominous lurk, perhaps. He's getting into that position where as soon as they have to commit, if they take too long, he will be the checkmate. Oh, they're all right there. Molotov, that could actually scramble Nico and Hunter. The Kovac sit behind green. And they've got Monacy to support just behind it. Zywu misses his chance to best the other opper. Monacy won't miss his shot. 20 seconds, and G2 have 